Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with goodyreader.com and today I'm going to walk you through how newspapers, magazines, and PDFs look like on the Sony PRS-T1 e-reader. What we have done is we have purchased the magazine, we've purchased a newspaper. Now I've done this both on a Sony app that came with this e-reader. So you can see that there's only one periodical here now. If you were to use your computer to purchase books, they don't automatically sync to your device. You have to go to your purchased content page and it will access the Sony e-reader store. Now it says zero ebooks, but it does say two periodicals. So the one that I subscribe to is Fast Company. So I'm just going to click on the cover art here. Hopefully it loads up. Okay, maybe I clicked on see issue list and there's an option here to download to my device so that's what I'm going to indeed do at the top of the screen you might be able to see that it is downloading it is an Android OS so whenever things occur that's where you see it so the download uh, is complete and I'm going to hit the home button here and you can see that the magazine has appeared here. So let's see how a magazine looks like uh, in EPUB format or sorry in PDF format that you maybe have purchased from the Sony e-reader store. So you can see it's a kind of a unique way to do the magazine Here's sort of the article, design of things to come. I'm going to hit the page turn button and you could dive deeper into the article. Now that text looks pretty small. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to increase that text and see if this works. So hey, it looks like I can actually increase the font using the e-reader app. Now that looks much easier to read. So I'm going to hit the back button to exit out of there. So this is how things look. You're not, you know, you do have options to do the orientation. So if you're not a fan of reading things in portrait mode, you can read it in landscape mode. So you can see here that picture looks nice and because it is an Android uh, e-ink device it supports pinch and zoom you can see that there are some like refresh issues but hey pinching and zooming pictures and text is pretty cool it doesn't automatically reflow text which I found was kind of a drawback if you were to see I'm kind of pinch and zoomed in right here if I like double tap it it simply just goes back to the default font that I did before I pinched in zoom. You can see I can't really kind of drag and see what's, you know, what's further down a page. You kind of do have to use the page turn button. So I find that's kind of like the drawback so far with some manually loaded PDFs. But we'll we'll get to that like in a few minutes here. I just wanted to show you how a magazine looks like in PDF format that you've purchased from the Sony store. You can see uh, some other options here, section top. Let's click that and see what happens. You can hit the table of contents. And here's some table of contents here. So cover, front page, departments, now, next, features. Let's here click on features. Let's click on the article, what can Steve Jobs still teach us? And I still had it in portrait mode, so the article defaulted to here. Of course, I can hit the settings, click on more, and then hit the orientation button to kind of go back to that 
default perspective that we were at. So magazines kind of pictures and everything like that. Super cool. Uh, what about newspapers? Uh, we've had quite a number of people that have been replying to our uh, posts that we have written where we did a full comprehensive review of the Sony PRS T1. A lot of people were saying, hey, what do magazines look like? What do PDFs look like? And the only reason why I would buy this device is because, you know, I want to load my own PDFs in or I want to subscribe to newspapers. So here's a single issue subscription that we've purchased today. Uh, 99 cents for the Saturday edition of The Guardian, which is our favorite newspaper in the UK. And we were kind of reading this already. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's just hit the article button. Another Steve uh, Jobs article. Let's hit section top. maybe table of contents too. You can see that the way that newspapers look is almost like the same way that the magazines looked. You have like this table of contents where you can sort of go to the Saturday features. Let's uh, click here. Judging rights from wrongs. Hit the page turn button. You see here that we have a picture. We can pinch and zoom that, and then it kind of takes like a few minute or two for it to like refresh. And then you can kind of scroll around, but you can see that it's suffering from kind of refresh issues. You don't have like this like seamless resolution. I think partly because of that is, um, I believe the processor is only about 800 megahertz, and I kind of don't really know offhand how much RAM it has, but. If the processor was a little bit faster and it was a little bit more RAM, maybe we would see a little bit more fluidness, but this is sort of like why video on e-ink doesn't work well because of the constant like refreshing. But you can see here that it doesn't look too bad and the same thing with uh, magazines with newspapers is that you can adjust the font. So. That's kind of cool. Uh, if you want as well is you can actually Actually, it doesn't look like you can change the actual font. You can just change the font size. Anyways, let's see if there's a more option here. Um, doesn't seem to be, but you do have settings here. Brighter, darker, depending on what you want. But I, I, I dig the way that uh, newspapers and magazines look here. You do need to take advantage of the page turn button you could also tap on the sides here, but I think it's much easier to hit the page turn button with both magazines and newspapers. Well, Marcus, you may ask, sure, you know, you could buy magazines and newspapers from the Sony store, but I might have a huge collection of content that I have downloaded from the internet or back issues, old paid things and stuff like that. Uh, what do PDFs look like? Well. Here is a simple PDF that we downloaded. It's uh, or it's the Dungeons and Dragons player source book. So this is just like a simple P uh, PDF book uh, made by TSR or uh, Wizards of the Coast, as it were. So you can see this is a simple PDF, but it doesn't look too bad in terms of like. It's not, you know, um, when I look at this on my computer, it's actually every page is two pages. But on here, it seems to all go to like one page, you know, like very easy, right? Of course, you can't scroll up and down. It's all like different pages and things like that. I've noticed with self-loaded PDF files, you always see this please wait as you're turning the page. That's kind of like a deterrent that it always takes like a little bit of time to like render the next page because I guess it's just the way that like PDFs are like encoded. But you do have like a number of options of course within the PDF you can change uh, the font size. Uh, you can actually change the font as well. So if you have like a PDF 
you can change the font. So we change it to Verdana. The ubiquitous, please wait. All right, so here we go. This is a PDF again that we just loaded like on our device. You can see that unlike the magazines and newspapers that we looked at, the page churn rate was very fluid. We didn't really have to wait. We didn't see this please wait message so long, but it seems with just a simple PDF where you're not really even seeing like a lot of pictures on here, each page turn does take a while. So uh, you might want to bear that in mind. Now, we did have a user that had sent us a PDF version of a Canadian newspaper and he asked us to, you know, test it out because he had a lot of uh, back issues and so on. So we're going to uh, check that out here. We've put it in the books category because we just self-loaded that in. And uh, here it is here. Okay, so defaulted to landscape mode, but we can certainly fix that if we wanted to. There's different page modes here. We'll get into that in a second, but you can see here that this is like a PDF of the Globe and Mail newspaper. So it's not like a fluid PDF where you can kind of just like scroll down and things like that. You do have to hit like the page turn buttons. But if you are in, in a normal like a portrait mode, I believe newspapers look a little bit better so you can see here it's like the full page of the paper but it is pretty small to read right you can't like double tap to really like increase the text size you can pinch and zoom but it only goes to like a certain point and you can see it looks like braille almost it's a little bit easier to read now but not by much and when we actually try churning up the font you can kind of just see what happens here for yourself so what you're gonna see next I'm not a huge fan of and it makes me wonder that PDF like stuff with tons of images like this don't really work too well on the Sony PRS T1. And as you can see it is taking a while because it has to conform every page in this document to the new text. It's just not doing it for the particular page. So regrettably, I don't really think the Sony PRS T1 is too indicative for self-loaded PDF files. As you can see this waiting is just very long just to do like common tasks and uh, here we go finally and the text really isn't any easier to read so pinching and zooming really doesn't like seem to work or anything like that as you can see it, it, it's pretty frustrating with this so my advice is if you want to get the e-reader to read PDFs like this, you might want to skip it. You might want to consider a Kindle DX, Pocketbook 902, 903. PDFs, from my experience, never really look that great on a 6-inch e-reader unless they've been customized for it. So you saw the content that we had purchased uh, from the Sony store. It was, you know, it's put through in the design process or in the exporting process from like an InDesign document to a Sony format like a PDF or an EPUB and it's done with the Sony PRS T1 in mind. When we were at an e-readers conference in San Francisco we met up with numerous uh, newspaper and magazine publishers and they all basically said the same thing. You know if we, if we ran a store basically um, every month all the magazine companies would send us their InDesign documents and then we would use our own proprietary tools to conform it towards the iPad and Android tablet of a certain screen size, a phone or a proprietary app say for Android 
iOS or say what Sony has done here. So Sony has given tools to its various various newspaper and publish and magazine publishing partners, and then whenever they would release a new issue, it's automatically put through Sony programs. So you saw just from what we've looked at here that newspapers and magazines from purchased from the Sony store look really good. Simple PDFs like uh, the little Dungeons and Dragons uh, PDF that we loaded in here. The text was fine, very readable, it's just that the page turn speeds and things uh, left a little bit been to be desired for. It's not as easy as, oh I want to see what's on three pages from now. Click, click, click. It's more or less turn, hit the page turn button, wait a minute or two, so you saw it, I just hit the page turn button and let's wait to the next page. So it's kind of abysmally long. So I would recommend if you're buying this device to put your own PDFs in, just from what we've seen here, it's not that it's not that great to be honest and but if you want to just purchase that content from Sony, you are good to go. If you do load in your own EPUB eBooks, uh, this e-reader certainly flies. And we're going to put a tutorial online soon that teaches you how to load eBooks into your Sony PRS-T1 using Caliber 